I concede that I'm in absolute abject awe of the universe, and I think the universe is vast and random. It can be, it can be cold and seemingly unforgiving, and it can be filled with statistical anomalies. But some of those anomalies, to me, are just too perfect. In the imperfect, random chaos of this universe, this perfect love occurred. And forget the vastness of the universe, you two are from different worlds on this globe. Worlds apart, this perfect love found a way to make sure you two ended up together. Rachel and Alex, I hope we can all be as lucky as you two, as absurdly lucky to find our other, our statistical anomaly, our perfect love the way you two have. Rachel and Alex met at work, but eventually they found themselves both available and they caught each other's eye. They were at a work thing and Rachel said Alex was being super flirty, but she didn't realize it until much, much, much later. <laughs> Alex and Rachel quietly started dating, and then at one point Rachel ended things saying, we work together, this can get complicated. And Alex just smiled and said, okay. <laughs> he didn't fight it, he accepted it for the moment because he knew it wasn't true <laughs> and it would not stick. They were together the next day. <laughs> Rachel told me Alex is unintimidated by new things. He moved across the world for work. He's a bilingual copywriter at one of the best ad agencies in the world. And he always gives me the prettier plate of food. That's love. <laughs> Alex gave me a look of disbelief that I would so much as inquire about why he wanted to marry Rachel because it's such an obvious thing. He said, I mean, I have zero doubt I'm gonna end up with her for the rest of my life. To a father who has a daughter, the most important thing to me is that she needs to meet a nice guy. I've got two really good guys in my life. I've got Mark, and now I have Alex. And as I stand here, I say to myself, I am such a proud dad. You look beautiful. I asked Rachel why she loved Alex, and she said, in every relationship, I've always been the gardener. But for the first time ever, Alex makes me feel like the rose. He's the consummate gentleman, and I just felt like this was the universe just handing me the perfect match. I asked him why he loved Rachel. He almost immediately started to cry. <laughs> he said, how can you not? She's the best person I've ever met in the whole world. I've never seen someone so pure at heart, such a good person. I don't wanna say Rachel is everything I've ever wanted in my life, but that's because I never knew I was capable of wanting something this way. 
She's so beautiful, she's so pure of heart, and she genuinely wants to do good in the world. I was just absurdly lucky to find her. Rach, every day when I wake up, I feel like I'm the luckiest man in the world. I really do. And the reason is I not only wake up next to a person I love, it's just someone that I admire so much. You are everything I've ever wanted and everything I need. You are, hands down, the best decision I've ever made. I promise to grow with you, to change with you, and whatever life brings us, we'll deal with it together. Here we will see. I love you. And today, I promise you this, to choose you again and again every day, all the days of my life. And I want all of you to look around at each other. You can give each other a hug, a handshake, a kiss, a smile, whatever you want. Just some acknowledgement of each other's presence. Because all of you are part of this. Oh, Shora Fascio. Uh, <laughs> Shora Fascio. It was sooner or later. It was sooner. <laughs> uh, all of you are who Rachel and Alex chose to be with them, who they want to take this first step with them. And Rachel and Alex, this is your family. Remember that best things in life are free. A hug, a kiss, love, the sunset are free. So keep focus on simple things. In Portuguese, sejam eternamente felizes. Que Deus os abençoe. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy. Right now, we're gonna hit the dance floor. This is not gonna be a party. This is going to be Carnival. Zach and I went to visit New York and Rachel and meet the new boyfriend she had kept talking about. When we arrived at her apartment building, we were met at the door by Alex. It was then and there that I knew he was exactly what Rachel needed in her life. Since that day, Alex has fit into our family like he was always meant to be. When I met Alex for the first time, you could tell just from the way he looked at her and the way that he spoke about her that he was going to be a great person and I was so happy to see that you had found that. Every once in a while, I could look over and see the way you were looking at Rachel. It was like no one else was there. And, you know, that's something special. Without any further ado, by the power vested in me by this Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Rachel Labrantes. Yeah. Yeah.